My name's Bubba Mabry. I'm a private eye. First mystery of the day, why am I tied up with pantyhose? Crazy ex-girlfriend might have something to do with it. And that banging ain't my hangover. It's Bongo, my landlord. What is it? I have been doing some private eyeing myself, Mr. Bubba. You have gorgeous women walking in and out of this place all the time. People say they're hookers. Oh, slow down, man. Uh, who says they're hookers? But I tell them, no. Women like two things. Either a big wallet or a huge cock. Mongo. And I know for a fact that your wallet is not very big. So I suggest, just a suggestion, that you manage to concentrate on expanding your wallet rather than your cock and pay the rent on time. You know what, Bongo? Woo! I guess I was wrong about your cock. Stop eyeing my privates. Your privates are eyeing me. My wife is going to be so disappointed. Well, that was my last 67 bucks, which rules out food and toilet paper, the two pillars of my life. Luckily, my overhead is low. My expenses are an ad in the yellow pages, my yearly license fee, and my trusty Fiero. Kathy, it's Bubba Mabry. Oh, hi there, Bubba. I was wondering when you'd call. Listen, I got a lot of balls in the air right now. I'm real busy, but I can fit in that bit of business you wanted to hire me for tonight. You had more than one case at a time? That is confidential. Whatever, Tiger. See you at nine. You bet your bippy. Sometimes a P.I. has to take a job that's beneath him. And by sometimes, I mean every day, man. But please don't judge me. There'll be plenty of time for that later. What do you say there, Foxy Mama? Why don't you take your son to daycare and get with a real man? Me and you can play hide the burrito. What did you say? I wasn't talking to you, Pipsqueak. I was talking to this fine lady with these big old jugs. Take your hands off her. You're going to make me, you sawed off little son yeah. of a... Oh, 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 oh. oh, Marty, you were wonderful. Oh, you're still short. Let's get out of here. I'm not gonna lie, that dwarf hurt me. But Blondie here paid me 300 bucks to throw a fight to boost the little fella's confidence. See, Short Stack here suffers from erectile dysfunction, which is fancy talk for dong disorder. But who'd have thought that a PI that had just been socked in huevos by a man pixie was on the verge of the biggest case of his career? Heck of anybody's career. But it happened to me, and it all began with a knock on my door. Good evening. My name's JG. I might have some business for you. You done much in the way of security work? Well, if you count Air Force as security. You flew planes? No, sir. I was an MP, but security, security, right? Could you be available now? What do you mean, like tonight? I mean this minute. I could probably work it in. Handle more than one case at a time, do you? That's confidential. I see. I work for a celebrity who happens to be in town. Fans been harassing him, and we feel a little extra security for a few days would be a good idea. Who's the celebrity? That's confidential. 
What you want me to do, man? You want me to drop everything I got going on here and find out the who, what, where, why, and when once we get over there? I know, that seems odd, man. I wouldn't want to interfere with the other cases, like losing fights to midgets in restaurant parking lots. Now, you look here, fella. He'd been spying on me, and what he said was hurtful. But he's large, and I'm broke, so I forgave him. How much does this job pay? Out of 30 bucks an hour, Sam. That sounds like you got yourself a new security man. Make sure that's all good and tight. Man, is this really necessary? Oh! Sign this employment contract. Now, look here, fella. I don't sign anything blind, all right? Although, uh, for $30 an hour, I'll put my autograph pretty much anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. Ow! Man, what the heck was that for? DNA sample, paragraph H. Paragraph H? Paragraph H. What the? H. H. I, I wasn't through reading that. Put the blindfold back on, one-eyed Willie. Can't keep the man waiting. Driving, driving down. Oh, I'm not feeling so hot. This blindfold isn't helping. My equilibrium is unequal. Don't you do nothing in here. We'll get a tour on the trunk. Oh, golly. Oh, that, that's better. Oh, I'm all right now. Ah. Ow! And then it hit me. JG and my parents shared a great disappointment in me. Hey, look, I'll take some Imodium or something. Enjoy the ride. Well, you got enough of my DNA. Over the next 10 miles, I had time to think about things. Who was this mysterious client, and what did he want with me? Oh, JG, please! If you let me drive, that needs your help. Oh, no, JG! <laughs> I'm going to be sick again. I didn't think there was anything left. Tell me who we're going to meet now. You'll probably recognize him, but don't call him by name. Makes him nervous. Yeah. He goes by Mr. Iron. You can call him Sir. Now, you look here, Jolly. I want to know what's going on, and I want to know right now. Let's not forget I got myself a big equalizer. Hey. 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 We are professionals. We'd appreciate you being one, too. Please. Is that the guy? What is this place? Some kind of badass ninja garden? Who the heck is this mysterious celebrity? It's the king of rock and roll. Want a smoothie? A smoothie? What? I'm gonna get a double. Is he really making a smoothie? JG tells me you're from Mississippi. I wanted somebody with southern sensibilities. Well, I got the right pedigree. I don't know how sensible that makes me. <laughs> well, you know, I like how southern people operate. You know, how we're polite. Well-mannered, but effective. Have a seat. J.G. tell you I'm being harassed? Yes, sir. He, uh, he did. Well, as you might have guessed, privacy's of the utmost importance to me. <laughs> and we know where this cat stands. What I'm thinking is, is that, uh, you can just keep an eye on him for us. Surveillance? A bird dog, if you pardon the expression. I could do that. What do you think of these? They look real handsome. How about these? Wow, I like those better than the first ones. Do you? Yes, sir. What can I say when nothing else works? I've always saw the for all that it's worth. 
want you to have. Oh, no, sir, I could. Yes, you can. Okay. Now, I'm everywhere and nowhere all at the same time. And I'd like it to stay that way while I'm in town here taking care of business. You want me to scare this guy away? You mean rough him up? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. I want you to remain the perfect Southern gentleman that you are. You just keep an eye on him and you report his movements back to us. If anything goes haywire, the light but effective. That's pure protein, man. That's good for you. This is Pan's name in the motel he's staying at. This is my direct line. The King's phone number. That's going in my Rolodex under K for awesome. Adios, Bubba. Mr. Aaron? I'm going to do a real good job for you, sir. I'm not going to disappoint you. As the king ascended unto his dojo, I felt I had been touched by the hand of God. Nope, just JG put me back in his trunk. See this call? Miss Diane likes to give bonuses. You do your job well, maybe you'll get a bonus. I made you some lunch, handsome. Holy sweet buttered grits. It was my house, but that wasn't my jacket. Did Mr. Aaron use ninja magic to put it in my closet? This was getting downright weird. But that weird feeling didn't stop me from wearing the fancy duds. Or imagining the king reward me for a job well done with a big fat Cadillac. This is my friend Bubba. Maybe. Light and effective. Thank you. Couldn't have done it without Bubba Maybe. Thank you very much. All right. Besides the fact I was working for the possible ghost of a rock star, I had to keep tabs on a Harold Tankersley, which sounds like a made-up name to me. Might as well be Link Dinklesworth or Flim Bigginson. Whatever this joker's name, he was staying at this dump, and I had to find out how he'd gotten to the king. Spend enough time around flea bag motels, you learn to read doors. For instance, a hooker lives in number nine. But this particular Miami Beach oasis was a new one on me. Oh, Sonny, would you bring me some ice? It's such a long walk. Sure. Well, you've seen a lot of comings and goings. I mean, you've been here a long time, right? Since 1993. Wow. Have you noticed any uh, suspicious characters? There's one guy checked into six. He's got a lactose problem, if you know what I mean. No. Skunk City. Oh. Watch yourself, sweetheart. Thank you. Listen, I'm gonna get your eyes. Go on in. All right. Lock your door now. Room six at the double six. Six, six, six. No local would stay in the devil's room. How you doing there, fella? Uh, look, I have a client of mine who uh, says a fella staying here is harassing him, but goes by the name of Harold Tankersley. How about you help me out? Let me know a little information on this cat. Is that a bribe or an insult? I mean, if you had four more of them... 50 bucks, man. A room here only goes 1995. For... Plus, you're getting free HBO and the Continental Breakfast. All right, man. I... How about we skip the breakfast? You just let me have a peek at the ledger. Skip the breakfast? How can you not like the breakfast? I like the breakfast. It's a lovely affair, man. Look. No, don't eat the breakfast. It's for paying customers. What? Go on out. Go. Go. I'm not done with my breakfast. No, you finish now. Goodbye. Insulting my breakfast. What is wrong with breakfast? It's got fiber. The patrons of sleazy desert motels rely on two things, privacy and plenty of ice. You remove either one and you got yourself a distraction. Rock a hula, baby. That was easy. No, no, stop, stop. I have stop, please. No, 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 no. I need a bucket. 
Like most motel owners on the Strip, Raj probably kept two books, one for the feds and one for himself. Get me a bucket! Yes, thank you. Oh, the ice machine's broken and the man asked me to find a bucket. Hot fried okra. What the hell are you doing? Me? What am I doing? Well, I'm from the IRS. I'm, I'm conducting an audit. I'm gonna need your phone number. My pants, that is not good! Just write it down in the back of a MacBook or whatever you got. Just write it down in the ledger there. Women show up in my cases all the time. She was different. She spoke English and she had all her teeth. As Muffin Man chased me, I hoped I'd see little Miss Pepper Spray again. My next stop, Lydia. She's Albuquerque's top conspiracy theorist. And in an ironic twist, she's also old, crazy, and deaf. What? I over-embellished to get her attention. Said I got a new case. I'm stalking this guy. He might be a covert operative. I got a credit card and a phone number. Oh, any of the girls here can find that. All right, look, I, I think you might be a dummy corporation for the CIA. Who? The CIA. Oh, they're half alien, you know. Where's the company? It's in Florida. Oregon. Florida. Oh, who is he? He, he's a, he, all right. Here. Oh, Harold Tankersley. Tropical Import Company, Vero Beach. Don't read this out loud, it's confidential. Oh, Florida, huh? Could be a drug connection. I'll look into it. All right. Hey, uh, what do you think about the king still being alive? Who? Who? The king, mama. <laughs> what are you, a crackpot? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Oh! <laughs> Lydia's helped me a lot over the years, and so has my next contact, a rodent. Trustworthy, honest, loyal. He is none of those things. But if you need something illegal, he's your man. Hey, Bubba, what'd you do? Get a makeover from Queer Eye for P.I.? I don't even know the show, but you look funny. What do you know about a guy uh, called Hank Tankersley? Tankersley, uh, never heard of him. Must be from out of town. Yeah, he's staying at the double six. Then you know he's from out of town. Geronimo! <laughs> Well, what do you think you can find out for me? You know, maybe, uh... Heard something up on this guy. Maybe, uh, get me a master key to the double six. Depending on how much money it's worth to you, I can get you DNA. I'm talking bodily fluid. Syringe, nutsack, oh. in there, out. Oh, easy, man. Juice I just... it in a bottle. All right, how hard is it to get a master key, man? It's all. It's gonna cost you about that much. You get it all or you get nada. Sorry about this. Watch the glasses, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> this is what passes for fun in Albuquerque. I've seen it at weddings and church picnics. It's simple enough. If you can grab all the cash while they're kicking the shit out of you, you get to keep it. You either win or end up with blood in your stool. Sometimes you get both, like I just did. I sure didn't think you was going to go for it, Bubba, and I damn sure didn't think you was going to win. Well, I didn't yeah. think I was going to win either the way you were kicking me. <laughs> well, who you want to kick you, your friends or your enemies? Neither. <sighs> Look. Take that, get some Band-Aids, okay? I owe you a master key. It's a great jacket. Having done the leg work on Tankersley, it's time to do a little ass work. That's where I sit in my car, eat a taco, and wait until he shows up. I wanted to put a face with that made up name, and woof, what a face. By the size of him, Tankersley looked like he'd been living on a diet of ding-dongs and pork rinds. I bet they call him Tank. Hi, boy. Gotcha. Just close your eyes, sweetie. Imagine it's just you and Clooney. It's you and Clooney. It's all the same in the dark. Now, let's see what this big boy knows. Las Vegas. Looks like old Tank's having takeout delivered. Got himself a tit sandwich with a side of ass. I 
I never wanted to be a sleaze bag with a made-up name more than right then and there. Thank you, old dog. Hello. Hello. Uh, Mr. Aaron, sir, uh, our mark is uh, under surveillance. I gotta be honest with you, sir. When you said you had a, a crazed fan uh, named Harold, I, I don't know. I pictured maybe like a bookworm in a bow tie or something. I call him Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank. You should see the company he keeps. They should call him Hank the Skank. <laughs> Keep an eye on the tank and want to know what he's up to. He's tucked in for the night. All right, all. Uh, Mr. Aaron, I I hate to bring this up, but I've come across some expenses. I'll send JG for you in an hour. Adios. Adios. You don't have to be a detective to figure out some things in this case weren't adding up. Like, why would the king of rock and roll hire a low-rent PI like me to keep an eye on some crazy fan? I didn't know the answers, but one thing I did know, I needed to get paid pronto. Here's another question. Why would a dead celebrity on the down low hit golf balls under the brightest fluorescent lights I'd ever seen? If it were me, heck, I'd change my face, move to Wisconsin. Oh! Still, he hit it pretty good for a dead man. Hey, glad to see you like the new thread. If you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you do good. Yes, sir, I do feel good. I mean, you got the sizes right and everything. Thank you. Oh, holy blazes. Shake it. Must be a trip being dead and all. Oh, excuse me, I mean, people thinking that you're dead and all. Well, 30 years ago, people grew tired of Elvis. Remind the people that grew up with him how old they gotten. Oh! People like Elvis again. Been back to Graceland in disguise. Watch fans put flowers on the grave. Heck, they even put me on a postage stamp for crying out loud. 30 years later, they're still licking your behind. Sorry. <laughs> I like you, Bubba. You all right. Oh. Thank you, JG. So. What about all the sightings? Well, I'm never where they say I am. You know, it's just fans that really want to see me. You know, like Sasquatch and UFOs and all that. Even after all these years, the fans are still loyal. They don't need rhinestone jumpsuits, uh, gyrating pelvises, just the music and their memories. Loyalty is what I want from you, Bubba. I just want to take care of this financial situation. Just pay you a flat $500 so you don't have to account for all these piddly little expenses. Oh! He's still got his swing. Yeah, that's a golf shot. So. That's a golf shot, sir. Still got it, don't it, JG? He's still got it. I've got beaten up a lot in my life, but this was the first time it paid off rodent weaseled me a master key as promised. Now I know what you're thinking. My client is just a celebrity impersonator and I'm being played. But you didn't look into his gold rimmed glasses like I did and see his eyes. This guy was for real and he'd asked me for my loyalty and I aimed to give it to him. Which meant I had to get on Tank's tail hard. That didn't come out right. Here's something that doesn't square. If Tank is such a crazy fan, why isn't he hiding in Mr. Aaron's bushes instead of sitting in the parking lot of Finkelman Entertainment? Jerry Finkelman had been a big time record producer back in the 70s before he was crushed by the driving beat and platform shoes of disco. But how does this connect to Tank? I could care less. I'm just excited to use my new eavesdropping device I bought in the spy section at Walmart. Hello. Hey, Mr. Aaron. Bubba, 
Tell me this isn't true, but J.G. says you did a number on his Cadillac. Yeah, sorry about that. I hope I'm done with blindfolds for a while. Definitely. We don't need you puking in the back of his trunk anymore. So what can I do for you? Well, the tank's doing surveillance at an office building down at, uh, 2400 Louisiana. Finkelman Entertainment. Well, now, that's, that's interesting. That is interesting. I tell you what, you just keep an eye on it for me and, uh... Stay on your toes. Yes, sir. Polite but effective. Bubba, I gotta go. I got some wheatgrass. I gotta shoot it. We got a problem, J.G., so I need you to take care of some business. The king seems settled. Tank looks settled. The only thing not settled is my stomach. Time to spend some of my newfound wealth on a king-size nachos. While I was gone, Tank made a move. I could only imagine what happened. It goes something like this. First, Tank would probably lumber down the hallway, trying to be inconspicuous. But on his size, and his stink would be impossible. Ugh. And he'd probably come across some gypsy, bohemian, patchouli oil-wearing girl, singing, screeching, whatever you want to call it. Fantastic! Let's record it. Then Finkelman will act like he likes it just because he wants to get in a girl's pants. Off. It's amazing what a little bit of cleavage and pink extensions will do for a gal. I know this sounds crazy, but it's my imagination, so just let me run. Finkelman's coke's going to wear off. Jerry Finkelman presents. And then the girl's manager will be a cowboy midget. Just a little fella, maybe two feet tall in a cowboy hat. He'll waddle on over, look like he's wearing 20 diapers, and he'll get into it with Finkelman. Well, that's a pretty tall order. Tall order? What do you mean by that, Dinkleberry? Now, what was Hank the Tank up to? Theft? Maybe it was blackmail. Or worse? Thank you very much. We get the video on the web, it's a shortcut to start him. Shortcut, there you go again. Keep it up, fancy pants. Oh. We can work this out. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Look, I want to see her on MTV just as much as you, but we'll be dwarfed by the bigger band. Dwarfed? That's it, you fool bastard. She's better than your cheap skate lounge act anyway. Come on, honey. <laughs> cheap Come skate? On. Hey, I've got a lot of overhead. Well, not as much as you. A dead rock star, a sleazy producer in a recording studio. The possibilities were narrowing. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, come on, honey. Take it from the top. Hey, 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 hey. Ponytail. We don't do nothing until we have a contract that's as tight as them little leather pants you've been wearing. Well, pull up a booster seat, little doggy. I've got short form deal memo right in my office. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's like that one arm juggler you asked. What was Hank the it. Tank up to? Yeah, whatever happened to Stumpy? Thank you very much. Then I heard the fire alarm. There's one meal I should have skipped. Tank had gotten the drop on me. I needed to pull my head out of my ass and get it into Tank's ass. Once again, that came out wrong. Jack, come it. I followed Tank to a park where he drank by a tree for over an hour. Well, well, little Miss Pepper Spray. This puzzle just got a whole lot sexier. I left Tank bellied up to the bar at the Cactus Cantina. Use Rodent's master key to slip in and do some detective work. The place smelled like Tank's farts had farted. I breathed through my mouth and pressed on. Jailhouse Rock. Tank set up a dark room. Looks like he's about to out the king. 
for being alive, not gay. Although if you think about it, those gold shoes and bedazzled capes he wore were just about a hair away from Liberace. I got something your boss wants. Okay. What are you talking about here? I know he's in town. I know what he's planning. <sighs> if what I got gets out, your room. Mm -hmm. I'll give it back in exchange for exclusive coverage. <sighs> Fine. It'll be all over radio stations tomorrow. You won't see dime one. Okay. Midnight. One taboo picnic grounds. Be ready to deal. I can't believe I vomit when I'm blindfolded and not when a flatulent blackmailer sits on my face. Ugh, I have got to think about what I'm saying before I say it. Tailing Tank left me covered with cheese and bed bugs. Knowing where he'd be at midnight, I had time to swap out my duds. It's Lydia, the only Harold Tagusley that comes up isn't CIA. He works for National Scoop. National Scoop? Wait a minute. Tank wasn't just some crazed fan. He was a celebrity snoop with proof the king is alive hanging in his bathroom. The king picked me to take care of business, and I wasn't going to let him down. It was my job to put an end to Tank's story. Now I was getting somewhere. My plan was to follow Tank, find out who he was meeting with, and report it back to the king. You're gonna be late for your own blackmail. But you know what they say about the best laid plans. The fart smell was still there, but there was something else. And I was a dead tabloid reporter. I was cautious about leaving fingerprints until I realized they were all over the place from my previous visit. I'm lucky Steve Romero's on duty. He's the only cop I trust, even though he wears corduroy in the middle of summer. We only see each other a couple of times a year, and when we do, there's usually a corpse nearby. A dead reporter, huh? Looks that way, man. There's a, there's a woman over here. Looks uh, very suspicious. I saw her lurking around earlier. That's the schmuck that never came back with my ice! I'm supposed to get her ice. Making friends. Listen, I got a witness that assures me that you offered him some cash to find out some information on our dead guy. What's that about? Ooh, which guy? Fat man? Super Mario over there? No way, man. I, I didn't give that guy any money. I believe you, because you're looking very pretty tonight. I have a new client that's very wealthy. He's uh, looking out for me. A sugar daddy, huh? No, not exactly. Who is he? That's confidential. You touch anything here, Bubba? On uh, the phone. Uh, when I called you and I poked around a little bit, you know? Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Watch it, you... fella. Come on. <coughs> ah, damn! How can you stand it? <coughs> a killer wouldn't have tossed a room with Tank on the crapper. They must have shot him with a silencer first, then done the tossing. So you were hired to tail this guy, and you just left? Yeah, well, I had to change my shirt. Blood stains? Jeez. Oh, well, you know, a low club soda worked that thing right out. I've heard. Anyone saw you between now and then? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna need ballistics on your gun and a statement from you. You know, give you a chance to come up with a, an alibi. I told Romero the whole story. Mostly. OK, so I didn't tell him my client is the king of rock and roll. There's no need for him to think I'm crazy on top of incompetence. The guy you're tailing gets plugged with a caliber of the same gun you're carrying. You find the body. Then you proceed to plaster the whole area with your fingerprints. And for some reason, known only to you and maybe the people in the psychic hotline, you won't divulge your client's name. Is that pretty much it? 
Well, yeah, because, I mean, my client's name was confidential. They're not going to like this downtown. Downtown? So many mistakes, so few suspects. And to top it off, my boss, man, he don't like no private gigs. And you are private. What's that for? You're kidding, man. You're not kidding, man. Come on. We want to thank you very much on behalf of the department for participating in the Gun for Toys program. Thank you, Detective. Here you go, sir. What am I supposed to do with this? It vibrates. You know, it's uncanny. I don't give two shits about your so-called client privilege. Private investigators are the biggest public nuisance we got. That's Captain Morgan. I held back with all my spiced rum jokes knowing he'd really blow a gasket. I'm going to ask you one more time, son. Who's your client? GQ. You hinder our investigation, I'll yank your license so fast your pants will catch fire. Look, I've told you all I can tell you before I speak with my client, man. Now, if you got a case against me, then file the freaking charges. I wouldn't waste your breath talking to your client. I'd save it for your lawyer. Speaking of breath, Captain Morgan, you might want a mint. Wow. So that boy looks like Carlos Sanders or a gay waiter. Well, well. Yeah, I figured Morgan would have me tailed. I just didn't think it was going to be from Tano and the Lone Ranger over here. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll give you boys the rundown. This area right here is pretty much just straight action. Guys and girls type. Pretty boring. Uh, you fellas might want to drive east a few miles, because that's tranny town. You'll love it. And a fellow like you, strong, silent type, you just might get peed on. Enjoy your stay. Big winner at the car. Oh, damn! Damn! I want you to tell me about Tankersley's murder. Jesus, lady, how'd you get in here? Don't act macho with me, Mister. I've dealt with women a lot tougher than you. How do you know how tough I am? I know all about you. You're a two-bit gumshoe who's never handled a real case. Never even been in the local papers. Well, I like my privacy. Kiss that goodbye. Oh, that's just great. Another reporter. Not a reporter, <laughs> stupid. I was Hank Tankersley's boss. No wonder he likes spending so much time out of the office. Listen, bub, you're going to jail. Whoa, easy. Slow down there, Miss Cattleboom. Quattle bum. Quattle boom. Quattle cattle. Quattle bum. Quattle, show me. It's quattle bum. Well, I don't see how you can. Quattle bum. Quattle bum. Quattle bum. Quattle bum. Look, I'm going to find Hank's killers as much as the next guy, but you're barking up the wrong tree with me. Horseshit. The cops may have their thumbs up their asses, but I don't. Oh, you got a real filthy mouth. It's obvious you did it. Oh, come on. If someone paid me a ton of dough to off a reporter, you think I'd still be here? Not even you would be stupid enough to run. Now the cops are outside. That's right, the cops are outside. How about I bring them inside and have you arrested for uh, trespassing, slander, and, and loitering? Hmm. Okay, fine. Invite them in. Mm. I'm going to collect enough evidence on you that you will be biting your pillow in the slammer until the cows come home. You look here, Missy. You get your filthy mouth and get the hell out of my room or I'm going to throw you out. Why don't you try it, bub? That's bub Three Bs, one U, and an A. But not in that order, because that would be bub ba ba ooh bye Bub-ba-ba-ooh-ah. Though I don't usually argue that much with the person I'm attracted to, I thought we hit it off. Don't slam the door! Mr. Baba, it's Bongo. Rent is due. I hope your wallet is growing as big as your enormous cock. Boy, was I deep in it. Left holding the bag for Tank's murder with J.G. and Mr. Aaron nowhere to be found. My mind raced thinking about who might have killed Tank. Sorry, Tank. You don't like the breakfast. Eat this for breakfast. Now that's what I call a deadline. <laughs>
one person stuck in my head. Polite, but effective. I think JG just might have set me up. I needed to dig up some answers, but that wasn't going to happen with Custer and Sitting Bull hanging out there. If you want to give someone the slip, it's good to have friends in low places. Like these two skanks. I figured I'll pay them to soap up the windshields of these two knuckleheads, and I'll skip out. Then by the time these guys are wiping crabs off their eyebrows, I'll be long gone. <laughs> Lydia, it's Bubba. Paper says you were questioning that reporter's murder. Did you do it? No, I didn't do it. What? No, I didn't do it. Oh, poo on you. You're no fun. Lydia, look, I need you to run a trace on all phone calls in and out of Tank's room the night he died. Oh, that's too easy. <laughs> but since it's a murder case, I guess I'll do it for you. Killer! <laughs> Hard to believe Lydia is one of my closest friends, but it sounds like she's gone off her meds again. If she thinks I'm guilty, what am I going to tell a jury? My alibi officially died on a toilet in 1977? Time to kick this investigation into high gear and retrace Tank's steps. But I couldn't just waltz into Finkelman's place unannounced. These days, you can get into just about anywhere if you speak Starbonics. You're the who? We're the Boogie Boys! <laughs> but Mr. Finkelman hates disco. Hates disco? When he sees these boys do the freak, the hustle, and the back house, he's gonna have disco fever. Now buzz us in. No one sees Mr. Finkelman without an appointment. Hello, everybody. I got some free chai mocha venti lattes here. Now, they're very hot. Be careful. Ooh. Enjoy yourself. They're free. Go ahead. Free coffee. Yeah. I'll take one. There's plenty for everybody. Enjoy yourself now. That's uh, some free coffee for everybody, all right? Just enjoy the coffee. And, uh... Finding Finkelman isn't hard. Just follow the smell of cologne and cheap reefer. I need it by the end of the month. How many end of the months are there? I know it's short notice, but you ought to be used to it. Fucking midgets. Hey, I think I know you. You're the fella that blew up all those disco records. I organized the whole thing. Wow. Well, that's far out, man. You must really hate disco. I mean, I, I can't say that I blame you. Oh, I like your look. Very rock and roll. Dolce & Gabbana? Calvin & Hobbes. Hmm. I don't think we've met, Mr. Um... I'm Bubba Mabry. I'm a private investigator. Mm. Maybe I'll catch Finkelman off guard by getting straight to the point with a little pop quiz. I was wondering what you could tell me about the king of rock and roll. What is this, a quiz show? The man's been dead what? How many years now? I don't know. I thought maybe you'd seen him. No, nope, never met him before he croaked. I was referring to something a little more recent, sir. What are you trying to say? I sat this close to the man two nights ago. Bullshit. Well, if it wasn't him, it was a heck of an impersonator. Probably the best I've ever seen, and if it was him, well, I figured he'd be on his way over here to see you. Look, I'd be the last man the king would want to see if he was still alive. Why is that? Because I'd make a publicity splash, baby. Living underground, pretending he was dead all these years, it's a no-brainer. Comeback song, concert tour, couple of movies. Sounds like you got it all figured out. Oh, sure. Bring me any celebrity who people think's been dead. Uh, Morrison, Hendrix, Cobain. That's Major League coin, baby. Yesterday, a reporter was shot and killed. And the cops think I did it, but I think it was the king and his henchmen. Yeah, well, then I'd have to say you're fucked. The king having a pretty bulletproof alibi, being dead and all. But listen, the next time you have a seance with the king, call me, and I'll bring my Ouija board, and we'll make fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. <laughs> It was only by my southern gentility that kept me from seeing a Finkelman's ponytail was a clip-on. 
Ever have one of those days when it seems everybody's out to get you? Finkelman was hiding something. <laughs> JG got me into this mess. That's confidential. And even the king might be a suspect. I like you, brother. Golly! Ah! What? Well, that's an interesting greeting. Sorry, I'm busy today. A lot of calls. You handle more than one case at a time? Yes, I do. Who is this? My name is Bambi Gamble. That's an interesting name. I want to talk to you. Isn't that what we're doing right now? Martini Grill. 30 minutes. I'll be there in 29. Just because a woman's name is Bambi doesn't mean she'll fit some stereotype as a busty airhead. But I made myself smell good, just in case. Let me get a Heineken. Looks like John Smith and Pocahontas enjoy the whore wash I'd arranged for them. You're welcome, fellas. You Bubba? Depends on who's asking. She's got the next round. Speaking of whore wash, it's the tit sandwich that visited Tank the other night. It's going to be hard to listen to anything she has to say. Hi. I'm Bambi. Don't look down. Be professional. Don't fantasize. Be cool. Don't... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You must be Bubba Mabry. I've heard a lot about you. Well, only the good stuff is true. You're the one who found Hank Tankersley's body. That's true. Not so good, though. That must have been terrible for you. It was traumatic. I mean, the cops think I did. You don't look like a killer. I know, right? Yeah. Who do you think could have done such a thing? Well, I have some hunches. Why not tell me some of your hunches? Quit staring at her hunches. Good thing Nurse Titan Short can't hear what I'm thinking. What? Nothing. Why are you so interested? Well, Hank and I were friends. Professionally. Man, you're a reporter, too. Oh, gee. I hope you don't think I was trying to mislead you. Mislead me? You're after a story. Well, that depends. My editors are only interested in stories about show business. Well, I'm sure you'll drum up some connection to whoever Tank was covering. You know who did it? Look, lady, I'm under strict orders from the police not to talk to any reporters. Fine. I'm not a reporter. I'm just some broad you picked up in a bar. Look, Mama, my hands are tied. No. No, actually, yeah, they're... They're not. I felt self-conscious about my fingers covered in nut salt. They could be, though. That didn't come out right. This is the, um, number of the hotel I'm staying at. You know, just if you change your mind. I should have followed her, but my pronounced erection made that impossible. Things were getting as crazy as an inbred wedding reception. I needed answers, so I hit the street looking for rodent. Nobody knew where he was. Not even the dancing Indian, and he's out there all day long. Why I didn't start at the salvage yard is beyond me, since there ain't nothing rodent loves more than smoking weed in abandoned cars. Don't come, baby. <laughs> Grandmother made this jacket. Get off me. You tell me about his killer. What do you mean? You mean, what do I mean? You asked me to watch the room, and I watched it. Then you asked me to get you the master key, which I did. And then you went in, and then he's dead. I didn't kill this guy, Roden. I didn't kill him. Did anybody else come in or out of that room? Everybody came in and out of that room. It looked like the goddamn Cinco de Mayo parade. Just people in and out. Anybody stick out? Other than the crazy white dude with the master key? Yes, besides me, did anybody stick out? Some other dude, but I don't even know if he even went in there. I just know he left in a sweet ride. You should have seen that thing. It was Ooh. great. What kind of ride was it? Can you describe it? 
Yeah, I can draw it for you with no pencil in my brain. I was sitting in my office thinking about it when you ran up. It was beautiful. Was it a Cadillac? No, it wasn't a Cadillac. I don't dream about Cadillacs. I'm black. It was a Corvette. An orange Corvette. It looked like orange juice, like vitamin orange, C. Orange, orange. I get yeah. it, man. Heads up. Whoa, watch out. Watch out. Oh, oh. Only in Albuquerque would a sniper use a crossbow. Oh. I know I should have filed the police report, but that would have been a mess on top of the mess I was already in. <laughs> So I figured my 9MS911 call ensured Rodin would be okay. They will have to amputate my ass. Besides, I don't want Rodin's tip to slip away. I followed Finkelman to Lover's Lane, which in Albuquerque is a dirt lot next to a sewage plant. You could smell romance in the air, if you know what I mean. I couldn't believe it. The second time in a week I got to use my spy device. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, you promised. It's always like this. Every single time. I told you it would be next to impossible to keep the lid on something this big. God, it smells funny in here. I'm gonna put the brakes on until this all gets sorted out. We thought ourselves a dead reporter and a missing demo. Demo? Did the king record a demo? It's obvious that the private eye shot the reporter, unless there's something you're not telling me. God, it stinks in here. Am I sitting in something? Listen to me, Finkelman. Get that demo back or else. Okay, okay. Take it easy, killer. I'll do it. And I know just the person to get it for me. The deal was it gets done right. Not at all. Well, I'm moving forward regardless. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Don't you go threaten me. And do yourself a favor. Buy yourself some air freshener. Car smells like somebody puked melted cheese in here. Well, there's 1295 down the drain. What the hell you doing here? Hey there. I need to talk to you guys. Shut up. You shouldn't be following me. You boys left me in a world of hurt, J.G. Everybody thinks I killed that reporter. Didn't you? You know damn well I didn't kill him, J.G. You guys set me up to be a patsy after you found me losing fights to half pint. All I know is if you follow us, I'll do whatever it takes to stop you. What are you gonna do, J.G.? Throw me off a cliff? I wasn't being serious, J.G. I... J.G., this is effective, but it's not very polite. Look, don't do that, sir. I wish he'd knock me unconscious, because that really hurt. Get in. You almost get your ass kicked twice. You just sat and watched? Yeah. It was really entertaining. Must happen to you a lot, huh? No, no. It doesn't. Mm. I, I'm glad you enjoyed the show, you know. Sorry about busting into your place before. I knew you didn't do it. I just wanted to shake something loose. Looks like the king picked you to do his dirty work. Yeah, I know all about it. Hank told me. Well, that's great. You can get me off the hook with the cops. Why don't we just talk to the man himself and see if we can get it sorted out? Well, you know more than you're letting on. That I know. Felicia Quattlebaum. And what? A girl's supposed to give up her story that easy? I don't want a story. I just want to clear my name with the cops and no headline. Aw, oh, you don't want me to write about you? I'd be happy if you just forgot you ever met me. <laughs> hmm. 
I'm really not sure I can do that. Okay. Here's what happened. Hank was in Santa Fe doing a feature on celebrity fat farms when he spotted this Elvis-looking guy. He followed him to a big desert mansion thinking maybe there's a story on some eccentric millionaire Elvis impersonator. Hey! JG chased him off, but not before he had an up-close encounter with some local vegetation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why would an eccentric impersonator record a demo? Demo? Demo. Hank gave you at the park. Demo. Huh. You're better than I thought. Apparently. Where is it? Don't be stupid. Now why would I carry around something that valuable with me? And then the king sang and it was rocktastic. Looks like he retained a lot more than his golf swing. All right, you keep them covered while I interview him and take photos. I get my story, and then they're all yours. Slow down a minute. What, what's with all the luggage? Just think about this. Whoever this guy is, he really wants the demo. He's willing to kill for it. Then we don't tell them we have it, do we? Just keep them covered. With what, my finger? You're a PI. You don't have a gun? I have a gun. The police took it. <sighs> all right, well, well, then just use mine. <laughs> It'll do the job. Plus, we have the element of surprise in our hands. The only surprise we're going to get is they don't die from laughing from this pea shooter. This is adorable. Don't slam the door. Go, oh, daggum it. Here I am with a lady's gun following Lois Lane hunting down the king of rock and roll. How the heck did I wind up here? Hey, hey, hey. Ellen, then a surprise, huh? Oh, relax. Look, all I want to do tonight is clear my name with the cops and make sure I don't get shot. As far as I'm concerned, you're helping me, not the other way around. Oh, look who's suddenly on top of the big gun down his pants. It's not that big. It's the biggest thing I got down there at the moment. Hey, that's not going to flash, is it? Of course not. Oh. He's coming. He's got a gun. Oh. Drop the cannon, dirty Harriet. Now, where's the demo? I can't believe we told him where the demo was. It was either that or a strip search. Jesus, but I appreciate the comparison. Wow. Oh. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Shut up. I didn't. Oh. Ow. Oh. Damn it. Oh, damn it, man. Oh. Ow. Shut up. Ow. Shut up. I say ow. Burnt, man. Well, I thought I could trust you, man. Never thought you'd be the type to sell my story to the papers. It makes me sad, man. Mr. Aaron, I did not bring her here. She brought me. Mrs. Quattlebaugh, you look like the type that could cause me a lot of trouble. I've been plagued by you people all my life. Even now, you still come sniffing around. Well, why don't you stop running, then? You know, maybe... Settle down. That's a drag, man. Stepping in and out of the shadows, buying mail order off TV. 
I want to go to Walmart. I hear it's amazing. Then you should go public. I would if I could, you know. Do it right for the fans. But then people like you would just foul it up. I guess have murder on your conscience doesn't help either. What's that supposed to mean, Bubba? J.G. killed Harold Tankersley because Tankersley was going to louse up all your plans. We didn't kill anybody. I wouldn't stand for it. A great reporter was murdered, and I want to know who did it. You know, I didn't hire you because I thought you'd make a good patsy after you threw a fight to some pipsqueak. I hired you because I thought you were a stand-up guy. He'd keep his mouth shut and do his job, even if he got scraped up a little bit. You disappoint me, Bubba. The King's disappointment weighed heavily on me, like Hank the Tank had earlier in this story. I needed to make things right. Uh, hey, hold still, Felicia. You're making the ropes tighter. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. For once, I'm glad. Come on. Hold still. God damn gummit. Oh, please, hold still. Drop the dart. Take a minute. Shush. Ah. Okay, we're just gonna start cutting these ropes up. Nice and thick, back and forth. Okay, come on. Cut the rope, cut the rope. Come on, come on. Get up, get up. Yes, yes. I wanted to do more, but I'm a gentleman, and that tape hurt my mouth. Isn't it past your bedtime? You ever check your answering machine? Captain Morgan has been riding my ass to get you downtown. Now, you haven't been playing detective while avoiding us, have you? No, we've been, uh... Oh, never mind, man. We've been tied up, Jeez. literally. Never yeah, mind. well, uh, uh, save those details for Captain Morgan. I'm sure he'll be interested. Listen, let me do all the talking. You two have pushed my patience as far as it'll go, and that chaps my hide. Officer? What would you say if I told you that the man you were looking for was the king of rock and roll? Celebrity scandals is one thing. But disrespecting the king of rock and roll, lady, you have sunk to an all-time low. But it's true. What's true? The king is alive and a murderer to boot? Mm. <laughs> yes, he's very much alive. And P.S., quite a lady killer. Lady killer. Lady killer, he's 75 years old. He's hot. He's probably got toe jam and ear fungus. It's like the way that he was looking into my eyes, and he has this really sexy voice. It was like, Oof. Wait, wait, a crush on this guy? You just, you got a crush on an old man? <laughs> what? You're jealous. I'm not jealous. You're in like some schoolgirl rock and roll oh, fantasy. So what if I am? Well, then you're probably gonna have to stick around and go to jail for robbing the coffin. Is you, that a crime? You know, Can you rob a coffin? He is more is of a man. Enough! You two lovebirds interrogate each other after I'm done with you. Now, someone, I don't care who, amuse my frayed ends of sanity with this compelling story. <clears throat> it's like this. While she summed up the story, conveniently leaving out the part about Tank stealing the demo, I took the opportunity to check out what she had to offer. She was smart and beautiful, and unlike my crazy ex-girlfriend, she didn't have a knife and a holster strapped to her leg. But it would be kind of sexy if she did. You confirm that, Bob? Well, I don't know the specifics of her story, but it is the uh, same guy that I know as my client, Mr. Aaron. See? Aaron, that's his middle name. I'd expect a prize-winning journalist such as yourself to come up with a better story. It's true, damn it! Easy. Am I wearing curlers? You must have mistook me for a housewife in line at sack and save. I don't buy your bullshit tabloid one bit. As much as it makes me piss blood to say this, but ballistics came back and a different gun killed Tankersley. Oh, that's fantastic. That means I get my gun back. Hey, if you so much as 
fuck sideways. I'll have you back down here where you will definitely do the jailhouse rock. What a hack. Thank you. Where are my bullets? We use those for the ballistics test. All of them? The exit's that way, sir. Green chili enchiladas. I'll have a half track. So, is this your favorite place or something? Oh, well, yeah, I guess so. It's nice. I don't know about that, but the food's real good. It was really clever how you, how you cut us loose. You handled yourself very well. Look, Felicia, I know I've been a real easy mark through all this, but I, I just want to say thank you for believing that I'm innocent. I don't. Oh, that gone. You couldn't help me get to the king if you were in jail. I'm pretty sure the king's long gone. Yeah, and so is the story of a lifetime. There's plenty of gullible people out there that would buy your story. I mean, I bought it. Look where it got me. Well, look where it got Tank. I can't believe he's gone. The way he saw life through a camera lens was incredible. Why was Tank stuck at the National Scoop? Why are you stuck at the National Scoop? What makes you think I'm stuck? Well, when you get on the bestseller list for your first novel, and then you go to slinging celebrity poop week after week, it doesn't add up to me. Rule number one of being a good private eye. Hit the library. That was a long time ago. Felicia seemed unfazed by the heat of the green chili. I consider that a point in her favor. I'm gonna help you find Tank's killer. This isn't a ploy to try to keep me in town longer, is it? Maybe. Even if it is, Tank, he deserved better. Thanks. No problem. She thought she could scare me, but I called. I bet I have a chance with this little lady. Hey, uh, well, that was nice. You want to, I don't know, come in for a drink or something? A nightcap? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I better not because I'm already, like, half asleep. Of so. course, yeah. All right, okay. Oh, ah, uh, <laughs> see you in my gut. It's going to shake. Oh, that's all right. Oh, oh okay, we'll just... <laughs> oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Lost that bet. All right, I bet Felicia's back. Nope. Lost again. But what an awesome way to lose. You asleep? No. Oh, Night Owl. How's the investigation? Man, man, oh man. I, you know, I know what you are, lady. You're, you're, you're a pirate. Oh. You like pirates? You have no idea. Ah! I knew she was here to pump me for information, but I hoped to be doing the pumping. Now that came out right. You're a story pirate. You, you figure out what kind of story somebody's working on, and you nab it, and then you print it first. What do you care? You're not a reporter. You think the king killed Hank? The king? Oh, please, Hank, tell me all about it. Why would Hank tell you? And tell me lots of secrets. Very passionate about the story. You know what else I'm passionate about? No. You're real pretty, but it's not gonna work, darling. You... I think... You killed Hank. And you stole the demo. No effect. It's gonna take a lot more than neck kissing, sugar. No, I, I, I didn't kill anybody. Felicia Quattle bomb. She got the demo. I opened up like a pinata. What? She's here? Yeah. That bitch. 
she 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 has the demo. That is until the king took it back from her. Well, tell me where he is. Well, I don't know where he is. I'm not even sure if it's really him. You don't believe it's really him? How could it be? He's, he's been dead for so long. Plus, how come no one's ever seen him before? Plenty of people have. We report it all the time. But this story is bigger than just another sighting. He's ready for a comeback. So, just tell me where he is. And I promise I'll make it worth your while. So tell me where he is. He, he's in a castle commune now. In Tierra Canyon of old Route 66, but I, I bet he's long gone by now. <laughs> See? You answered my question, and that didn't hurt one little bit, did it? No. 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 <laughs> so I'm gonna go find the king, get the demo, and get the story of a lifetime. Mm. Mm. He, oh, oh, he prefers to be called Mr. Air. Oh. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> I'd make a publicity splash, baby. But there were a bunch of incoming calls from the Bambi gamble. Bambi? I cross-checked Bambi and Tinkleman, and they were busted for selling fake tickets to Horse Fest back in 96. So that's who Tank was talking to that night. Where do you want to meet? Midnight. One taboo picnic grounds. Be ready to deal. Does this mean you're not the killer? Ah. Oh. I'd been barking up the wrong tree thinking J.G. killed Tank. Now all fingers were pointing at Finkelman. Picking that lock really took about 15 minutes, but who's counting? I needed one piece of evidence to connect Finkelman to this whole mess. There's one. There's two through nine. Oh, my goodness. Hubba Bubba. I got to ask you some questions, man. You could have called. Where is he? Who? Oh, I don't know. Good looking cat. Pompadour. Curled lip. Maybe you heard of him. No one was supposed to see that yet. Why, afraid I'll wreck your comeback plans with the king and expose the demo? We captured lightning in the bottle, baby. When the devil comes home, please don't leave him alone, alone, alone. Let him walk. Woo! He's got it, baby. Jump it, jump it, jump it. This man was made so much older. When the devil comes home, do it easy. You have to show it. You got to touch this man. The king is back, Jack. He's still God. Everyone's gonna remember my name for recording the biggest comeback in history and put the king back on top. <laughs> yeah, but Hank the Tank blew your plans. Well, not exactly. The king's still gonna make a comeback. <laughs> oh, man. The glory days. <laughs> Laugh all you want, but guess what? The tank's dead, the king's alive, and I'm about to make rock and roll history. How often do you get a second chance at doing something great? Just tell me where the king is, and I'll let you get back to your masturbating the mannequins. I told you I don't know, and that's that. Look, fella, I've had a real rough week. Now, why don't you tell me where the king is, or I'm going to have to get nasty? Just try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Huh. That's great. You know, there's a city ordinance about having wild animals for pets. You know, you're a real smart ass, but this time you fucked with the wrong guy. Kill him and dump his body in the river. Wait, hey, come. Oh, I wanted some answers, man. Well, you're about to get one. Like, uh, whether there's life after death. <laughs> Woo! I need dope. I need dope. <laughs> Oh, I swim the El Paso, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs>
What the fuck? Police! Uh, let him out! Get your hands up! Uh, Come on, you fuck! Let him out! Uh, let him out! Get him out of there! Oh my god! He's just swimming! Crush him down! assume you'll want to press charges. Yeah, I want to press charges. And I want to press charges against the boss. He's the one that sent him here. Looks like we got here in the nick of time. He got here quicker. Uh, police brutality, man. What's the matter, Bob? You can't swim? Maybe next time you'll think twice about playing cat and mouse with us. The cops wanted me to ride downtown, but I sweet-talked him into dropping me off in my car. Because with Finkelman on the loose, I had to find a way to warn J.G. and the king. Uh-oh. I hope Felicia doesn't smell Bambi's perfume on me, because it didn't quite wash out in the river. Did you just say Bambi gambled? Shh. Romero here. Shag it downtown and explain how Finkelman is mixed up in what? all of this. What did you tell Bambi? Nothing. No sign of him. Did you sleep with her? What? No. Bubba, it's JG. Finkelman kidnapped the king. I trailed him to the Grand Theater in Santa Fe. I need some backup. Hey, what are you doing? Shit. So how did you link Bambi and Finkelman, anyway? Well, they've known each other for years. I mean, Finkelman sent Bambi to find out what Tank knew about the king. Now, Finkelman and Bambi hatched his big comeback idea, and Tank got wind of it, wanted a piece of the action, so he stole the demo. Finkelman had Tank killed. Just think, all the good ones die on the crapper. <laughs> well, the king finds out that blood was spilled, he wants out. You're still gonna make a comeback, and I'm gonna orchestrate it. A record, concert tour. One last hurrah, baby! I can't do that. If you cooperate, we all make money. And if you don't, mm, I'll sell the story anyway, and you're ruined. What is he doing in a place like this? Oh my god, you really do that? Can you teach me? You'll probably end up in prison for faking your own death. They can't prove anything. Well, they don't have to, because you're going to do everything we say. Uh, not everything we say. Everything I say. What are you doing? You don't have any bullets on you, do you? Uh, I did, in the gun you dropped. But don't worry, we have the element of surprise on our side. You see, you're too busy being sexy and clever. You don't realize your big mouth is a liability to me. We're partners. Oh, oh we're partners. Yeah, we're partners. partners. Oh, no, 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 no. Shut up. Sit down. What? The story alone is worth millions to the tabloids. But let's ride the wave, baby. Meet all the old fans and a whole generation of new ones. You cokehead, I told you I can't do that. You can. And you will. You owe it to the public. And you owe it to me. Check this out. Take a look at this. It's gonna blow your mind. This is for you, baby. I did this all for you. Show's over, big shot. Ooh, uh, Bubba, what a remarkable comeback. See, this is what I'm talking about. What took you so long, man? Yeah, it's about time. You're going to jail. Oh. Hey, whoa, that's a big one. Drop him. See that? Bambi to the rescue. Kick him over there. That's right, kick him over there. Woo! Thank you, baby. This is what I'm talking about. You saved my life, Shut baby. Shut up, you lion sack. What the hell? Murder wasn't part of the plan. You take him public, people will be all over you. Wrong, stupid! By the time they find me, I'll be so rich, I'll be able to buy anybody. And with enough money, you can make all problems disappear. <laughs> Not murder. Especially, Especially murder. murder. Really? That's a good tip. Thank you. Me and the king are gonna go get rich. Everybody, over there. Mr. Aaron, please stand up. Drop it, Mama. You first, lover boy. Drop him! I said drop him! Yeah. Yes! Back in charge again. Sit down. Now, 
You're all gonna do what I say, because no one else has a gun, so no one else is allowed to talk. <laughs> Don't you dare! Get off me! <laughs> Again. You want in on a comeback? Fine, we can work out a deal. Comes out of your cut, then. Shut up, Bambi. Shut up, Jerry. Everybody shut up. Come on, can we cut this nonsense and work out a deal? I got a show to put on. I'm a reasonable man. No deal. your adoring fans. I can make that happen for you. Hey, when you died, you left me hanging. Without me, you're nothing. You're not gonna leave me again. Boy, oh boy. You really had me going there for a second. You had us all going. I was just hoping you were going to play dead. I mean, the well, Lord knows you're good at it. <laughs> I'm sorry about all this, Bubba. You understand that me and JG got a skedaddle. I trust you'll be able to sort things out with the authorities? Yes, sir. Hey, Elvis. You think you'll ever make a comeback? I never went away. Oh, take it easy, big fella. It's gonna be all right, JJ. It's gonna be all right. The king's gonna take care of you. Let's go towards the light. No comment. No comment. No comment. Finkelman pled guilty to killing Tank and now manages a prison band called the Jailhouse Rockers. No His requests to go on tour have been repeatedly denied. And you might have read about Bambi's famous celebrity wedding. Come on, that's a lot of money. I'd have already been down there. Rhoda made a full recovery and introduced a new game to the nurses in the ICU. Yes! Oh, yes. Pick her! It's your ex-husband. He's got all that. Felicia broke the story of a lifetime and quit the tabloid business to write novels. She took a break from writing long enough to meet me in Vegas for that one last thing. Jeez, where did you park? Uh, in the awesome section. Wow. Sweet ride, mister. It's Cadillac. Little bonus I got from a fella called the King of Rock and Roll. Huh. You know, you got a little, uh, it's like, like a caterpillar or something. Oh, no, that's, that's a mustache, mama. Nice try. No, see, it's one thing we all learned from Magnum is that every P.I. needs two things to truly be great, and that is a sweet ride, a big, beefy mustache. Well, at least you got a sweet ride. All right, come home. You know, I've been thinking. We could write a book about our whole experience. Oh, I don't like that idea. You know, I like my privacy. No, I'll work at the local paper. And then we can write together when you're in between cases, which should give us plenty of time. What's that supposed to mean? What? Why would I have any time? I'm, I'm backloaded. I'm, I'm, I'm in the want. I'm sure you People are. People in the know know that I'm in the want. I, I'm sure you are. 
I had to change my name, I'm so popular. To what? Bubba Mabry Jr. Remember at the beginning of all this when I asked you not to judge me? Well, now you can judge me. And that is the end of the story. Almost. I've been witness to some pretty big events in my day. The grand opening of a Piggly Wiggly Superstore even saw Yasuko Katsumoto break the world's hot dog eating record before he exploded in a shower of processed meat. But those weren't near as big as what Felicia and I were about to witness. We had backstage passes to the biggest event in rock and roll history. Yeah. Bubba. Ready to do this? Let's go do it. All right. We're on full lockdown. The king is on the move. Turned his back on the law But you know that something must be wrong When you get that late night call I said maybe it was lucky son of a Mother calling a child The road it tear to his lonely eye And call him back from the wild When the river comes home Please don't leave him alone, alone, alone And above his own you better touch this man who's been so much older When the river comes home, please don't leave him alone 
Bierzemy King's phone number. That's going in my Rolodex under K for awesome. Adios, Bubba. Mr. Aaron, I'm going to do a real good job for you, sir. I'm not going to disappoint you. As the king ascended unto his dojo, I felt I had been touched by the hand of God. Nope. Just JG put me back in his trunk. See this car? Mr. Ann likes to give bonuses. You do your job well, maybe you'll get a bonus. I made you some lunch, handsome. Holy sweet buttered grits. It was my house, but that wasn't my jacket. Did Mr. Aaron use ninja magic to put it in my closet? This was getting downright weird. But that weird feeling didn't stop me from wearing the fancy duds. Wow. Or imagining the king reward me for a job well done with a big fat Cadillac. This is my friend Bubba. Maybe. Light and effective. Thank you. Couldn't have done it without Bubba Maybe. Thank you very much. All right. Besides the fact I was working for the possible ghost of a rock star, I had to keep tabs on a Harold Tankersley, which sounds like a made-up name to me. Might as well be Link Dinklesworth or Flim Bigginson. Whatever this joker's name, he was staying at this dump, and I had to find out how he'd gotten to the king. Spend enough time around fleabag motels, you learn to read doors. For instance, a hooker lives in number nine. But this particular Miami Beach oasis was a new one on me. Oh, Sonny. Would you bring me some ice? It's such a long walk. Sure. Well, you've seen a lot of comings and goings. I mean, you've been here a long time, right? Since 1993. Wow. Have you noticed any uh, suspicious characters? There's one guy checked into six. He's got a lactose problem, if you know what I mean. No. Skunk City. Oh. Watch yourself, sweetheart. Thank you. Listen, I'm going to get your ice. Go on in. All right. Lock your door now. Room six at the double six. Six, six, six. No local would stay in the devil's room. 
How you doing there, fella? Uh, look, I have a client. A client? Yeah. Well, that was my last 67 bucks, which rules out food and toilet paper, the two pillars of my life. Luckily, my overhead is low. My expenses are an ad in the yellow pages, my yearly license fee, and my trusty Fiero. Kathy, it's Bubba Mabry. Oh, hi there, Bubba. I was wondering when you'd call. Listen, I got a lot of balls in the air right now. I'm real busy, but I can fit in that bit of business you wanted to hire me for tonight. You had more than one case at a time? That is confidential. Whatever, Tiger. See you at nine. You bet your bippy. Sometimes a PI has to take a job that's beneath him. And by sometimes, I mean every day, man. But please don't judge me. There'll be plenty of time for that later. What do you say there, Foxy Mama? Why don't you take your son to daycare and get with a real man? Me and you can play hide the burrito. What did you say? I wasn't talking to you, Pipsqueak. I was talking to this fine lady with these big old jugs. Take your hands off her. Are you going to make me, you sawed off little son yeah. of a... Oh, 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 oh. oh, Marty, you were wonderful. Oh, you're still short. Let's get out of here. I'm not gonna lie, that dwarf hurt me. But Blondie here paid me 300 bucks to throw a fight to boost the little fella's confidence. See, Short Stack here suffers from erectile dysfunction, which is fancy talk for dong disorder. But who'd have thought that a PI that had just been socked in huevos by a man pixie was on the verge of the biggest case of his career? Heck of anybody's career. But it happened to me, and it all began with a knock on my door. Good evening. The name's JG. I might have some business for you. You done much in the way of security work? Well, if you count Air Force as security. You flew planes? No, sir. I was an MP, but security, security, right? Could you be available now? What do you mean, like tonight? I mean this minute. I could probably work it in. Handle more than one case at a time, do you? That's confidential. I see. I work for a celebrity who happens to be in town. Fans been harassing him, and we feel a little extra security for a few days would be a good idea. Who's a celebrity? That's confidential. What you want me to do, man? You want me to drop everything I got going on here and find out the who, what, where, why, and when once we get over there? I know, that seems odd, man. I wouldn't want to interfere with the other cases, like losing fights to midgets in restaurant parking lots. Now, you look here, fella. He'd been spying on me, and what he said was hurtful. But he's large, and I'm broke, so I forgave him. How much does this job pay? How does 30 bucks an hour sound? That sounds like you got yourself a new security man. Make sure that's all good and tight. Man, is this really necessary? Oh! Sign this employment contract. Now, look here, fella. I don't sign anything blind, all right? Although, uh, for $30 an hour, I'll put my autograph pretty much anywhere you want. Mm-hmm. Ow! Man, what the heck was that for? DNA sample. Paragraph H. Paragraph H? Paragraph H? What the... H? A? I, I, I wasn't through reading that. Put the blindfold back on, one-eyed Willie. Can't keep the man waiting. Driving... Oh, I'm not feeling so hot. This blindfold isn't helping. My equilibrium is unequal. Don't you do nothing in here. You'll get a tour on the trunk. Oh, golly. Oh, that, that's better. Oh, I'm all right now. And then it hit me. JG and my parents shared a great disappointment in me. Hey, look, I'll take some Imodium or something. Enjoy the ride. Well, you got enough of my DNA. <laughs> Over the next 10 miles, I had time to think about things. Who was this mysterious client, and what did he want with me? Oh, JG, please! If you let me drive, that gives you help. <laughs> Tell me who we're gonna meet now. You'll probably recognize him, but don't call him by name. Makes him nervous. Yeah. He goes by Mr. Aaron. You can call him Sir. 
Now you look here, Jolly. I want to know what's going on, and I want to know right now. Let's not forget I got myself a big equalizer. Hey. 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 We are professionals. We'd appreciate you being one, too. Please. Is that the guy? What is this place? Some kind of badass ninja garden? Who the heck is this mysterious celebrity? the king of rock and roll. A smoothie? A smoothie? What? I'll make it a double. Is he really making a smoothie? J.G. tells me you're from Mississippi. I wanted somebody with southern sensibilities. Well, I got the right pedigree. I don't know how sensible that makes me. <laughs> well, you know, I like how southern people operate. You know, how we're polite. Well-mannered, but effective. Have a seat. J.G. tell you I'm being harassed? Yes, sir. He, uh, he did. Well, as you might have guessed, privacy's of the utmost importance to me. <laughs> and we know where this cat stands. What I'm thinking is, is that, uh, you can just keep an eye on him for us. Surveillance? A bird dog, if you pardon the expression. I could do that. What do you think of these? They look real handsome. How about these? Wow, I like those better than the first ones. Do you? Yes, sir. What can I say when nothing else works? I voice saw the hurt. Want you to help? Oh, no, sir, I could. Yes, you can. Okay. Now, I'm everywhere and nowhere all at the same time. And I'd like it to stay that way while I'm in town here taking care of business. You want me to scare this guy away? You mean rough him up? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. I want you to remain the perfect Southern gentleman that you are. You just keep an eye on him, and you report his movements back to us. If anything goes haywire, polite but effective. That's pure protein, man. That's good for you. This is Pan's name in the motel he's staying at.
name's Bubba Mabry. I'm a private eye. First mystery of the day, why am I tied up with pantyhose? Crazy ex-girlfriend might have something to do with it. And that banging ain't my hangover. It's Bongo, my landlord. What is it? I have been doing some private eyeing myself, Mr. Bubba. You have gorgeous women walking in and out of this place all the time. People say they're hookers. Oh, slow down, man. Uh, who says they're hookers? But I tell them, no. Women like two things. Either a big wallet or huge cock. Mongo. And I know for a fact that your wallet is not very big. So I suggest, just a suggestion, that you manage to concentrate on expanding your wallet rather than your cock and pay the rent on time. You know what, Bongo? Woo! I guess I was wrong about your cock. Stop eyeing my privates. Your privates are eyeing me. My wife is going to be so disappointed.